everyone, Simon Lu here. Welcome back to episode 2 of the Discord.js coding tutorial. And today, as you can see, I'm starting off with the website codenotejs.org. Why? Because I completely forgot to mention about this in the previous episode. If you were trying to run npm commands and weren't working, well, this is the reason. You forgot to install node.js or node.js simply. And that even Discord itself mentioned that it needs it. I completely ignore that, and I don't know why I forgot to mention about it as well. So Node.js right there. So make sure you have Node.js installed in order to run any npm commands, and uh, make sure you use the latest, not latest, more the most stable or uh, recommended version instead of the latest. Otherwise, it might cause a lot of bugs every now and then. So well, that's it. Let's go and close that out of the way. Let's go back into Atom, and. Uh, I've already written this because I actually recorded this once already before, and uh, I didn't really like how it turned out, so I'm re-recording re this video. So, so what you actually need to do today, we're going to be showing you guys how to do a command handler. Uh, what a command handler is, is basically going to split commands into separate folders or separate files. And, to do, and doing that is actually very useful because it's going to keep our code very clean. Now, as you can see, I created a tutorial.js inside a commands folder, and exactly, and that is exactly what we need. So, the first thing we're going to need to do is we're going to do const fs equals require fs. And you don't need to do fs, you, you already have fs. If you don't, just do this command npm install fs, and it should work. Um, but for as long as I know, I never needed to use that command because it always worked. So I'm just gonna keep it there. Now I'm here. I'm just going to comment this out when bot ready, and um, just to keep things a little bit clean. Uh, message event, and we're gonna lo load commands, which is where our command handler is gonna do. So we're gonna first do bot dot commands equals new discord the collection, and uh, then we're gonna need to do fs dot read. Der, or however you pronounce this, also known as redirectory, and we're going to read the directory of uh, commands, and then the slash there, and we're going to do the error and the files, and we're going to do an error function, and then end it there. And then if there is an error, error, error. So basically, what it's saying is we're going to read the directory called commands, and it's going to error. We're going to find the error in the files. If there's an error, it's going to log the error in the in our console. However, if there's no error, we're going to go ahead and let JS files or whatever you want it to be. You can even call this command files. I'm going to call it JS files because um, they are all in JS, obviously. So what we're going to do is we're going to do files, where we're going to use that files right there. I'm going to filter it. And so we're going to do f an arrow function here, f dot split using a dot because as you can see tutorial dot js and then we're gonna pop it and equals to js. So uh, no, so anything after the dot, if anything after the dot is a js, and I kind of don't want you right now, so let's get that out. Uh, if anything after, why is this appearing? Okay, I can't save for whatever reason. Anyways, anyways, so if anything after the dot is a, a JS, it's gonna pop it. Basically, it's gonna split them into two. And I really don't know what that is all about, and I really want to know how I can actually turn this off. Right, let's get back to what we were talking about, and uh, that is. Yes, this is going to separate those files into two, basically. And then we're going to do an if statement if JS files a length is great is less or equals to zero, then we're going to do console.log or error if you want to. I'm going to use log here, and there are no commands to load. So basically, if there is no file, so JS files dot length is basically saying if there is no files in that folder, let's go ahead and put out there are no commands to load. 
And then we're going to return this code here so it does not continue so that it doesn't error. Or I guess you can go ahead and do, or you can just simply do this actually. Let's keep the code, let's make the code even simpler. There. <laughs> even simpler. So next we're going to do a console.log again and we're going to do loading and then we're going to load the js files js files dot length so we you don't re exactly need this basically what this is saying it's loading the amount of commands there are so let's say there is one file here it's gonna say it's gonna replace this by one Let's say that has two there, it's going to replace this by two, and so on and so forth. And um, that's about that. Next, we're going to do JS files dot for each, and then f i error function let props or whatever you want to name this, honestly. I just like to name it props because that's what I've been using for all this time. And then we're going to do require dot slash commands slash and then f which is going to be this f right there that's it and then we're going to do console.log now this is uh, where it is actually optional this i can be removed if you don't want it but i'm going to keep it so that i count how many commands i have uh, what the i is is basically going to stand for index so in this case, it's going to be i plus 1. So every time it loads a command, it's going to plus 1 into that i. And what it's going to do is it's going to count all the commands I have. Let's say I have 20 commands. It's going to i plus 1 every single time it loads. That means it's going to say there are 20 commands in there. And I would easily know without counting the files one by one. So next, we're going to do f loaded. And that is the name of the command. Uh, or the file, the name of the file. Then what we're going to do is bot.commands, aka this collection right here. Got to set it. Um, props. Dot help. Dot name, and then we'll just do props here. And yeah, that's about it. That you're done. That that is all you have to do for loading the commands. Now, just bear in mind that. Um, Again, I is optional, and also keep in mind that bot will be client if your constant is a client, so make sure you know that. And next, we're going to go into our message event, which is where we're going to actually define how everything is going to work out. So, for example, uh, make sure the command works, and all that kind of stuff. So... If you see that dot to lowercase here, um, I added that in my previous, uh, not my previous episode, more like um, my, more like my previous attempt in recording the video. So we're gonna do dot to lowercase. Now what this does is going to make that make it so that this command right here in the tutorials.js is going to be lowercase. It's going to always be case insensitive. So let's say you type. Uh, to, let's say you type something like tutorial with random letters or whatever for whatever reason it's going to go ahead and convert that into tutorial which is exactly what your command is here so just keep that in mind that's why we need to lowercase so that it is case insensitive now we're going to also do since we already have this here the only th really thing that you need to add is this so if commands dot starts with prefix then we're also we're going to return so basically if it does not start with a prefix it's going to error it's, gonna, it's not going to error it's going to do absolutely nothing so there you go that's that next thing you're going to need to do is we're going to go ahead and remove this because we're no longer going to need that in fact we're going to re we're going to recreate another variable called that's cmd and that will be dot bar dot commands dot get command dot slice prefix and then dot length and then we're also going to do if cmd cmd dot run bot 
message and args, not message array. Now keep in mind also if this here is message msg, you're gonna also put msg here. It's basically gonna transfer this part. It's basically gonna tr transfer transfer this entire event into my other file, which is gonna be here. Pretty important. Um, of course, this bot right here again, it's gonna be client if your client here is client, and bot that commands here is basically we're going to get the collection. We're going to get all the collections and that is how we're going to get the command. And the command, we'll get from the command, we're going to slice it from prefix.length. Basically what it's going to do, uh, if you didn't know, if prefix, uh, let's say the prefix is exclamation mark, and then this, this is args zero. What we're basically doing now is making that literally just a separate Command, it's literally making it a command itself and not an argument. That mean, meaning that the next argument that comes will be args zero. So let's say the command is tutorial. This is the command. And if I can type. And then this is the args zero. So keep that. So now that we know that. We can go ahead, we're done here. Now let's go back to our tutorials.js. All we're gonna need to do is we're gonna need a reload our Discord. Um, honestly, you don't need to really, really redo this, but I kinda like to redo it every time. It just, I don't know. Next you're gonna do is a module.exports.run equals async, and then bot. Again, if this is client on here, here, you're gonna put client here as well as well here. So uh, message, and then args, arrow function. Do that. Close that there. Um, we're gonna get back inside in a moment. Now to define the command, we're gonna do module. Dot exports. Dot help equals this. And then our name is now this is what our command is. So tutorial is our command. So now we got tutorial. Now all you need to do here, since it was a simple little message, so we're gonna uh, return message dot channel dot send, and we're gonna do hello world. And that is all you need to do. This is you've done it. We've got ourselves a command handler. So let's go ahead and do node index dot js. It should start our bot. Tutorial bot, there we go, playing Minecraft. And if I remember correctly, our prefix is need exclamation mark. So if we do um, tutorial, wait a moment, wait a moment, and um, yeah, there's a error. Uh, I wonder where that is. Command dot start. Okay, it's c command dot start with. Oh my god. Okay, that. Okay, uh, hopefully this should fix the issue. Tutor yep, as you can see, it actually says tutorial loaded, loading one command. So if I go here and do tutorial. Should work, and now it says dot get is not a property of undefined. <laughs> really, command that starts with bot dot. Okay, okay, seriously, that is staying bot dot commands. I'm getting confused over on my own code. <laughs> All right, if we do go ahead and do tutorial here now, there we go. It works now. Okay, um. Damn it. Okay, so it was just my bad. I was so command here is for this and commands this is from this. So make sure you don't get confused. I actually got confused on my own code and I was getting all over the place. But there you go. That is pretty much how you make command handlers. Now another way we can go ahead and uh, let's see. Okay, so 
in the next episode, we're going to make a very short episode from episode 3, and that is to show you guys how to actually make this entire part here configurable. We're going to make that work so that you can make it streaming, set the status to do not disturb, idle, invisible, and all that kind of fun stuff. We're going to do that in the next episode. But with that, we're running out of time, and I will see you all in the next episode where we'll show you guys how to make just that.